We start in Korea, where the centre-left People's Party has just announced the results of its general vote on the possible merger with the centre-right Barum Party. After holding a four-day nationwide ballot for all party members, the two have agreed to merge. We have on the line with our reporter Kim Mogyeon to give us the latest details. Mogyeon, tell us more about today's announcement. Tell the results were announced just a couple of hours ago. Out of around 260,000 party members, some 60,000 voted in the poll. Of those, more than 44,000 voted in favor of the merger, amounting to a whopping 75% majority. Here's the announcement from the People's Party. I hereby declare that People's Party leader An Cho Su has established the party's confidence in his position in support of a merger with the Baden Party. With the results, the People's Party will now begin official negotiations with the Patent Party on the merger, with plans to finish the process by February. If and when the merger goes through, the two sides will make up the National Assembly's third biggest negotiating bloc and would have two former presidential candidates, An Chur Su and Yoo Seung Min, in the same party. But there are still those who disagree with the merger. Several members of the People's Party have created an opposition campaign calling for the vote to be nullified, noting that the total voter turnout was only 23 percent. Now, this represents quite a shift in the political landscape here in Korea, merging two parties that are supposed to sit on either side of the political divide. I understand An Chol Su, the leader of the People's Party, gave a speech after the announcement. What was his view on the vote? Well, soon after the results were announced, An held a press conference. He thanked the party members who voted for him and his proposal, adding that the results of the vote were even higher than when he was first elected party leader in August. The former software mogul said that he would consider the results a reflection of public sentiment and will work to repay those voters by bringing innovative changes to the party. As for those who still oppose the merger, An said that the majority of 75 percent in favor leaves no room for controversy. An said that he will now work to transform the party, making it a force for reform, for youth and for all citizens. Back to you, Jungle.